Productions. Hello to all my fellow music producers and talented people out there. Welcome back. This is Jalad of GMAC Productions, and I have a tutorial for you today. Um, today, I'll be showing you how I do vocal mixing using Mixcraft Pro Studio 7 and also do vocal treatment using Mixcraft stock plugins and other free plugins as well. I'm not going to use any um, expensive plugins, expensive effects that I cannot afford. Um, I just want to show you guys that um, Mixcraft's plugins sound great already. The tutorial today will uh, feature the song Who You Are, which I made. And um, this is also the song that I've been using for my other tutorials as well. I'll let you listen to it, guys, and then show you step by step how I process this to have that kind of sound, okay? Let's listen to the song right now and see how it goes. So that's actually uh, the lead vocals there. So let's start. Uh, but before we start right now, I just want to make sure that you guys understand this concept. Okay, when you do vocal mixing, you must mix it in a context with all the instruments and also mix it solo. So you just don't mix the lead vocals on solo mode all the time. Okay, that's why it's called a mix. Okay. So you have to hear everything within the mix and everything about the mix. And the lead vocals, you have to understand, is the lead instrument in your vocal uh, in your mix. All right, so it has to sound great. Another thing that you need to also take account for is that before you do any vocal processing, you have to make sure that um, your vocal track is already it's already a great vocal recording. It's a great uh, it's a good vocal take already. Okay, and you have to make sure that uh, you have reduced all the noise, the background noise on your vocal track, which you can actually learn uh, in my other tutorial as well. So look it up um, in my YouTube channel, the GMAC Productions. Look it up um, how to clean vocal tracks in Mixcraft 7. So, okay, so you'll learn a lot of stuff there. So let's uh, go ahead. Now, um, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, pull up all the effects. So. What I did here is I'm going to show you the vocal chain that I have already. Let's just take out all the effects first. Okay. And then let's put this back to zero dB. And then let's um, put this back to zero as well so that there's no vocal delays going on. All right. So let's listen to the sound again for one more time. So that's a raw vocal take, all right? So first off, um, what I do is um, I do a little bit of pitch correction, not because um, it's out of tune or it's off key, but I just wanna make sure that, all, that I'm hitting all the right notes on the vocal track, all right? Um, a lot of producers are using this. Um, they're actually using auto-tune and Melodyne for their pitch correction but here i love what mixcraft did it has g snap pitch correction okay so let's just click this and then pull it up using the edit button so as you can see here uh there are a lot of presets on this tool so there's subtle pitch correction less subtle pitch correction t pain and other stuff um so what i do uh, is just click the subtle pitch correction and then set the key okay so the, the key of this a uh, song is D major all right so click OK and let's take a listen So fragile in the darkness of my 
so okay so i don't hear any <laughs> notes that are off key there so it's a good thing um just you know a little bit of subtle pitch correction can work wonders all right so the next step will be other producers or other mix engineers um, just put the DS at the bottom of their vocal chain but what I do is because I know my voice and I have to tame and reduce all the S's and the T's first I just put a DS -er first now Mixriff doesn't have uh, its own DS -er. so what I did I downloaded the modern series plugins which are free by Antras these are free plugins you can use this and they have a great DS -er there so Let's just click this one and then pull it up. Now, this preset here is, uh, I made this preset. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to, you know, talk to you about each knob, but I've already managed to uh, set all the parameters for my vocal track here. So it's uh, sibilance or the S's and the T's are actually at the 7K range in the frequency band. So it's there. I've already sweeped this and you can see. Uh, you can see here at the bo two buttons how this plugin works. So let's just um, do this right now. I may have been broken by the trenches of life. A heart imperfected, we wound so deep. So you could, uh, if you if we're going back there see when I said wounds it reduced the S here so the blue one will actually uh, show you that it's taming the S's and the T's okay let's do that one more time we wound so deep so fragile in the see when I say so deep so fragile uh, uh, the blue one actually tames it so you could see visually that it's working all right so let's go ahead and do the third uh, the third thing. So you can see on my vocal chain that the equalizer is on top of the compressor. But before I do that, I always do compressor first for me to level out the peaks of the vocal track. So if you could see on your sound wave here, there are waves here that are louder and there are waves that are softer. So what the compressor does is it, it smoothens the, the peaks, okay? so. It doesn't make the sound loud. What it does is it makes the softer sound um, go up and the louder sounds go down to an average level wherein they all um, have th the same level. Okay, so it smoothens out the, per the peaks of the sound waves. Okay, so that's what the compressor does. So I'm using Acoustica Compressor. It's actually the, the, one of the stock plugins of Mixcraft. Um, there's also another compressor that Mixcraft has. It's the classic compressor as well, but I'd rather use this one. Okay, so uh, click on edit and then there are a lot of presets here. So I just chose the big easy because that actually sounded nice on my on my voice. So there, and then just tweaked it a little bit. Let's just go ahead and check it out. I may have been broken by the trenches of life. A heart imperfect. Okay, so it's actually good already. Um, let's just tweak it a little bit. I may have been broken by the trenches of life A heart imperfected We wound so deep, so fragile in the darkness of my soul As you can see, if it's a fast attack it makes the sound further but if it's a slow attack it go it makes the sound up close okay for release it um, it's vice versa if if the, it's a fast release it's it makes the sound up close but if it's a slow release it makes the sound a little bit further okay so we'll just do a medium to fast uh, fast to medium release and then a, a slow attack on on this one so let's um, listen to it one more time I may have been broken by the trenches 
flashes of life. Uh huh. Okay, that's that's good already. Okay, so the next thing is now we'll do our equalizer. Okay, so let's just hover this above the compressor and then click this. So what? Since we already, uh, you know, um, smoothing out the performance in the vocal track, we have to do equalization, which means we're going to shape the sound. Okay, um, and now shape it sound and do some corrective EQs. Mixcraft has TV parametric equalizer. It comes with Mixcraft. Now I've already um, managed to set the parameters for you to see guys. Um, I know my voice, okay? So I did a little bit of reducing the low end at, uh, at around 114 hertz, okay? So because you don't need that bass, you don't need that low end on your voice, okay? You have the kick, drum, you have the bass guitar or whatever bass uh, synthesizers that you have. So that will take care of your low end bass the vocals and other uh, the kick drum will just you know um fight their way to you know taking the space here so we don't need it in our vocal track okay so you just reduce it i just took out uh 1.6 db in the 525 hertz because it uh, i just need to take out the moneyness or the nasal so what you need to do is for you to do this is do a boost and then um, tie it in the, the the Q factor and do a sweep. Okay, so sweeping is like this. I may have been broken by the trenches of life. Okay, so this time you need to do a solo so that you could hear the only the voice. All right, so let's do it one more time. I may have been broken by the trenches of life A heart imperfected with wounds so deep, so fragile in the darkness of my soul I asked for air as I lay down and Okay, so that's good. Uh, I just took out the nasal uh, sound of my voice there. Okay, and then another thing, if you want to boost, uh, you um, brighten your uh, voice a little bit, the presence part is at around the 2000 to 5000 kilohertz. Okay, it's an around 2K to 5K. Okay, before me, I did a little sweep and then I found the two, uh, 2.2K is the best frequency for me to boost 1.4 dB for my voice to, you know, have that kind of presence. And then for a little bit of air, so my voice sounds a little bit airy already, but I'm just looking for the, uh, you know, more air on my voice. So I just did a little boost here at uh, the 12K. Uh, 2.1 dB gain and a Q factor of 0.90 and this is how it sounds. I may have been broken by the trenches of life. Bypass it. A heart imperfected with wounds so deep, so fresh. So as you, when I bypassed it, it actually uh, took out that quality that I had before. Okay, so it's a really good uh, tool right now, this TV parametric equalizer. Okay, and the next will be um, another compressor. Um, since uh, I know that Mixcraft has to has another uh, stock plugin, which is called the Classic Compressor. But it, uh, what I want to do is I really love the sound of LA two ways, and um, I found that the modern um, plugins by Antras has one in relation a clone of the uh, LA two A, uh, which is the modern Lost Angel. So let's just take a look at this compressor right now, and even visually, <laughs> it looks like the LA two A. Okay, it's just colored red. So what? Um, I like the sound of this compressor and remember why I'm using two compressors because not all compressors are created equal They have their own 
different sounds, okay? As I've mentioned earlier, the compressors um, smoothen out performances. They actually smoothen out the peaks, okay? But they have also different characteristics that they have. So basically, the 1176s as well have has a different characteristic in its sound um, as much as the other, the SSLs of Waves and the APIs. So basically... Um, the LA2A has a different distinct sound that I love. So let's just check and listen to this. I may have been broken. I may See? have been broken by the trenches of life. A heart. Imperfected, we wound so deep, so fragile in the darkness. Of I may have been broken by the trenches of life. Uh -huh. Okay, it really sounds great now. Now, um, that actually is my vocal chain. So let's um, take a review. First, um, pitch correction using G snap. Second was a D esser using modern. Then the TV parametric equalizer of Mixcraft. Then the acoustic compressor. And then another compressor, which is the modern Lost Angel. This one, I'm not going to use this one. I'm sorry. I just need to uh, delete that. So that's my vocal chain. Pretty much easy, right? Okay. Now, of course, when. Even though it sounds great already, the lead, since this is an electronic dance music song, um, I need my vocals to take up all a big space in my mix, okay? It has to sound very big. It has to sound spacious. Okay, so what I can do there is either do a reverb or a vocal delay. If you want to take up all the space in your mix, you have to use vocal delays. They're great in doing that, okay? and especially it has it will give you a different sound so let's go ahead and uh, do a vocal delay here number five oh there you go i'm sorry it's not the okay so on my vocal delay effect um this is my chain first is i used a the acoustic delay then um, just to give a little bit of shimmer and make it sound more spacious is I added a studio reverb then I compressed the effect and then I did some you know telephonic effect on the delay as well so why am I doing this I just want to have that kind of uh, quality on the delay okay so let's just listen to this right now and see how it sounds I may have been broken by the trenches of life a heart imperfected we wound so deep so fragile in the darkness of my soul Okay, it sounds great, right? So, first thing that we need to do is to, of course, not put the delay on your uh, a lead vocal chain. Okay, don't do that. It will the computer will take a lot of space. It will just to saturate your CPU power. So instead, you you do a send track. Okay, and then put the, put all your delays there because you're not going to use 100% of all the effects. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, so you can see here I just used around 26% of all the vo uh, of the vocal delay on this track, and it sounded really great. Now, so the first thing is um, I used the acoustical delay, which is here. So let's just take this all out first. This is actually they have presets here, but 
you have to learn how to calculate your delays. So the uh, beat, uh, the BPM of the song is 110. So now how to calculate your delay um, is 60,000 divided by 110 and it will give you 546 ms. Okay, so that is the delay that you need for this one. Okay, if you want it, you know, um, quarter, one eighth, one sixteen. Then you have divided by two, then divided by two, then divided by two. All right. But for this one, I just divided by the the BPM, sixty thousand divided by BPM, and that's the delay because I wanted a long delay. So this is a long delay. Okay. Now, um, I tinkered the feedback as well to eighty one percent to make it, you know, as uh, much longer than the wet mix as well. So let's just do it right now and see how it goes. As I um, tinker and move the bars I may have been broken by the trenches of life a heart imperfected we wound so deep so fragile in the darkness of my soul Okay, so that sound, um, that sounds so good right now. Not much feedback, not much wet mix, but you know, it's to my liking. So I really love the sound of that. Now, why am I doing a reverb on my delay? Um, it will create this kind of effect. So let's just solo the delay right now, and let's do it without the reverb first. Um, have Let's put the reverb. Okay, it actually gave some shimmer, <laughs> and I like that effect. So you just use a large hall or a large plate on your reverb after the delay, and we'll give you that kind of shimmer effect on your delay as well. So let's unsolo the track, and then let's do. May have been broken by the trenches of life. A heart imperfected. Okay, the third one in my vocal delay effect list will be a compressor. Why am I doing this? It it will, it will just sound like it's it's being side chained, but not really. But you know, I really love the sound of this. So let's just. Take a listen to the effect right now. Let's solo this one more time. I just used the acoustic compressor and its default preset there. So it acted like it sounded like it's being side chained. Okay, so I love the effect on that. Let's take a listen to it one more time. I may have been broken by the trenches of life. Okay, but it sounded that the delay is too much on the track. So I want to tame it a little further. So let's use an EQ for that. Let's use the acoustic EQ. And then I want to do it. Um, let's do a telephone effect. Okay. Uh, just let tell me that. Okay. All right. Let's see how it goes. Let's solo this one more time. Um, Okay, so that is how I do it. 
um, this is not fully mixed yet but that's the basic stuff that I'm doing um, when mixing my vocals and doing vocal treatment okay especially on this genre but basically it also is applicable to other genres like pop rock okay um, it's just that this um, uses a lot of delays because this is a, uh, a dance track unlike uh, for pop or for rock um, you just need to configure what type of delay or reverb that you need to use okay but that's really how it goes so for again let's review for the lead vocals what I do is I do pitch correction and de -esser, then equalize and, and then two compressors after that so that's my vo lead vocal chain and my uh, vocal delay chain will be the delay then a reverb, a compressor, then an EQ. You can actually take this all out, except you just, you know, use your delay alone. But if you want to be creative in how you do your effects, anything is possible. It's actually limitless. So guys, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Thank you very much for those who are subscribing. And thank you very much because you're going to subscribe today, whoever is um watching right now i hope you subscribe to my channel the gmac productions i have uh, a website uh, coming soon so i hope you guys wait for that and check it out thank you for the like thank you very much for learning with me have a great day cheers bye bye i may have been broken by the trenches of